welcome youtubers welcome back to my youtube channel i know i've been missing in action but i am back with uh with uh what, what would you call it on this car when i have first bought it a a history moment i would say probably maybe i don't know so in today's video we are going to take a look, take a look at my old 2000 buick lesabre and I'm gonna show you around everything that is missing, everything that needs work, and so on. So let's get into it. I really forgot how long this car been in the family. Um, as you know, my brother had bought it years ago, and I had bought it with 131,000 miles, if I can remember. I'm gonna have to go on my uh, one video of um, the day I bought my Buick LeSabre. I'm gonna have to go back into that and see how many miles I had got it. This car here now has 181,000 miles. Um, the body seems better days. Uh, he kind of been in a fender bender. Um, if you remember, I had painted this and it's not doing too well. So, but overall the uh, body's still good. Um, had to get a new bumper um what else that spot still there uh but mitch matching mitch matching bumper i mean colors this one is a little creamer this right here is white the tires are good uh it does have that scuff marks and stuff around it uh it's the same bumper on here that i had took off to uh, put the 24s on the red calipers seen better days need to be repainted um i tried to buff out that uh headlight right there the front uh bug bug worn out this grill that i have painted is gonna have to get repainted over or just get a new one so yeah my brother had kept up with this car really good really really good so let's jump on the interior and i'm gonna start it up for you and go from there. He did have to take the dashboard out. If, you, if I can get you right there. Uh, he had to take the, he need a lot of nails and stuff and drill across there so it can stay down. Uh, the fittings aren't too great. So if I can push that. Okay. But whatever. Center console saw better days. It's broken. Um, he <laughs> yesterday he just broke this. He broke this yesterday. Tried to put his mask on the mirror so it can be up there, and the mirror is right here. So yeah, he broke that. So, All right, here we go. And she sounded like a brand new car. A brand new car, no check engine lights on. The only thing is the ABS. He did the brakes on it, but um, that was like, I think like two years ago that he did the brakes. So the brake light is on, the ABS light is on. Let me show you. Uh, no, 184,000 miles right there. Uh, what else? That's about it. That is about it. The AC is still cold, still cold. And everything has held up pretty good in this car uh, on the door panels. Like I said, like the dashboard on this side is probably isn't the best, but it will do because it's still intact, stuff like that. All this right here, that's still closed, but this right here, nothing too bad, nothing too serious. Uh, I'm just gonna have to get that put back up. Uh, like I said, other than the car runs great, it's, it's it seems like it just got off the car lot. Um, I'm gonna have to get him some gas in it. That's really low. But AC is very cold. The car is comfortable. This car right here rides like a Cadillac, even though it's a General Motors GM car. So I mean, not BMW. And plus, Buick was the ultra luxury car. General Motors, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's, like, on the interstate, 
hitting 80, 90, 80, 85 ish with no problem. The car rides like like it's floating on um, clouds. So let me take you under the hood. Take you under the hood. I'll show you what she's working with. She is like she is quiet. It's quiet, so let me open the hood for you. The world's most reliable engine ever ever made. The 3800 Series 2 V6. Alright, I'm going to let you listen to it and tell me what you think. Like, I am amazed at this car. I'm not surprised because it's 3800, but I am amazed that this car is still going. The oil is good, the uh, coolant is good, it's amazing. That, like the maintenance that my brother kept on this car, it's, it's perfect. So, yeah, 3800. The body, like like I said, like little things here and there, like dings and stuff. The car overall is in great condition. Well, I have to tell you. The the only thing that the engine area, not engine area, but look like the front of the car. The only thing wrong is the um is the strut. Like when you get off the gas, it like moves. I guess like the subframe is loose or it need bearings or whatever. I'm going to try to get that on the camera too, watch. I'm going to try to get it on camera. Turn down the AC so you can hear. Let's watch. Hear it. Hear it. Okay, so I'm going to try to open the hood and see what I can hear myself. If you're gonna buy a Buick, buy the Buick LeSabre, buy the um, Buick Park Avenue, which I have, and my brother has the uh, LeSabre right here. Um, and what else? Do not buy the Century. Like, the Century sucks. The 2000 Buick Century, they suck. They are terrible cars, do not buy those. But, the I, I will say anything with a 3800, you buy it. This car, my car, would you believe that this car still runs? <laughs> this car still runs because I had it parked over there beside my trailblazer for two months and I put the uh, gas in it I had put the battery in it and it started right up with no problem at all and it's still gonna need work it's gonna need work here and done uh, here and there my uncle hit that with a piece of wood but overall uh, and I saw a Buick uh, Park Avenue on uh, offer up for two hundred dollars, and I was thinking about getting that body and taking the engine out of this and putting in that one, or I might just take the parts off that car and put on this car. So yeah, but the car overall, it still still runs great. I'm gonna have to do an oil change. I'm gonna do that on my video, one of my videos, and I'm gonna do a radiator flush. Flush. And I'm gonna do that on my video. So and I'm gonna do brake brake pass all around. I'm gonna do that on my video. So maintenance video. So and I might do a video of this car right here. I'm um, doing the brakes for my brother on this car. Then he's gonna get the rotor suit. And yes, my uncle did that. And he have to pay for that. So that damage right there. So he's gonna have to pay for that. So, but yeah, the overall the body is good on this car. Uh, Still gonna need work. And I'm gonna hold, not hold off, but like, I'm gonna just take step by step to uh, fix her up. And, and, ha ha, I'm going to try to get a video of this car right here. This car right here, even though it looks terrible, it still runs. This car still runs. And it has 99,000 miles on it. 
and I will try to get the video in this video so I can show you that this car still runs. So guys, she runs as I have proof right here. She runs okay, I will say. Definitely gonna have to get an oil change and do the coolant flush and get a new radiator. And as you can see, I t uh, the signals are off. It's because I unplugged the uh, one of the fuses on the uh, car. So I gotta figure out why it stays on through the wiring. So I have to figure that out. But She's running okay. She's running okay. Temperature staying steady. But I'm trying to figure out why it does this. When I put it in gear, like she wants to, like she wants to shut off. See? Like I'm trying to figure that out. So Maybe it's the fuel filter or whatever, but when you put it in park, she sounds good, great. So yeah, so you can see the lights are on here. Odometer 253,000 miles. So, so you got a lot more work to do for her on her, so. Bear with me. Still gotta take that rim off. I wanna do the suspension. I wanna figure something out about the suspension. Um, I know he had 24s on here and it was lifted. So you know, as you can see, those are lifter things right there I'm gonna have to take off. So that's her. She sounds good though. She need help, which I'm giving her. She doesn't. She isn't. I would say she isn't uh, mad about it. Like she's not being a brat. So that's her. All right, I just shut her down. So now let's see if she'll start right back up. My uncle said it's probably the fuel pump that's doing that, so. Started right up. The 3800, I'm telling you, the 3800 engine is the world's best engine ever been produced by General Motors. That little squeak and that is the brakes, the right rear brakes. She's whisper quiet, like a Rolls Royce, kind of. <laughs> so let me pay attention to this roll, y'all. Let me pay attention. <laughs> so, guys, if you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up because the video of the maintenance will be coming so thanks for watching and please comment down below and tell me what you think about the Pon I mean, buick pontiac 3800 v6 series 2 engine thanks for watching